Hello guys, today we're going to do a review of scientific notation as requested by other departments. Now, scientific notation is a notation used to combine very, very large numbers or very, very small numbers. It makes it a lot easier. Um, and you will be using the rules of the exponents that you learned last year. Yay! Now, first of all, there are three parts to scientific notation. The coefficient, which is always a number one, that is one or greater and also less than 10. So it's only gonna be one digit that is not in the decimal part. I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. It also has a base, which in scientific notation is always 10 and an exponent. One example would be, again, 1.65. This is the coefficient, a number that is one or greater times the base 10 and an exponent. This is one example. Another example could be 9.999 times 10 to the 2. Smaller than 10. That's perfect. What we do not want is two numbers above the decimal. So we don't want any number in the tens portion. And if that happens, for example, if you have 10.5 and you want to switch it to scientific notation, you just run the decimal place once and then multiply it by 110. If you ran the decimal point once, you just multiply it by 10. Let's go over a couple of examples of converting normal numbers to scientific notation. 0 0.0000000065. Again, what you do is you take just the numbers and you make sure you have one number that is greater than or equal to one and smaller than 10. So in this case, with these two digits, that number would be 6.5. You find the number that is greater than one and smaller than 10, 6.5. So now you run the decimal spot until you reach this part, right? I'm sorry, this position right here. So it would be one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You always multiply by ten, but now since I move ten spaces to the right, negative ten. That means it's an incredibly small number. Okay. Again, this just happened to be a ten because I moved ten spots. So you find the number that is greater than one or smaller than ten, place the decimal point. Then you move the decimal point however, however many spaces you need. Let's go over another example. 0 0.000935. Again, the number would be 9.35 times 10. It's always going to be times 10, and this number will always be the number between 1 and 10. And now I had to move my decimal spot 1, 2, 3, four units to the right. So that would be negative four. That means you're working with a very small number. Now let's go over big numbers. 1,750, 175,643. Okay. Usually you're not gonna see this in scientific notation. You're just gonna get a lot of numbers and a whole bunch of zeros after that. But you never know. So what you do is, again, the number would be 1.756004, number that is greater than 1 and smaller than 10. And I had to run my decimal spot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers to the left. So it's 10 times 8, meaning a very big number. Let's go over another example which is normally what you're gonna see. 175,000, oh, why not? 175, a huge number. Again, the number would be 1.75. And now let's see how many spots I ran my decimals. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14 times 10 to the 14. So that's how you rewrite numbers um, to no scientific notation. If you ever want to expand a number for some reason, let's say they give you 
6.35 times 10 to the 6, what you do is you write 6.35, but you don't put the decimal number. But from this point, you move six digits to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I should add these many zeros, and this number is equal to this number. If it were negative, you run it to the left, and it's exactly the same. Now, as far as operations go, for addition and subtraction, you have to have the exact same bases. So for example, if I have 5.5 times 10 to the four, and 6.3 times 10 to the three, the way we do addition is, you always convert the smaller number, or the smaller exponent, into the bigger exponent. So this would turn into 0 0.63 times 10, uh, sorry, uh, C, times 10 to the four. That is absolutely correct. So these would be identical to this. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, just making double sure. So again, I turn this number into the exact same number to have the exact same base and exponent as the bigger exponent. Now what you do is you add the decimal portions. I have 5.5 plus 0 0.63. When you add, this turns into a three. This is 11, I carry one over six. The decimal space stays the same. And the exponent or base doesn't change anymore. So it would be 6.13 times 10 to the four. I always turn the smaller exponent into the bigger exponent and then add the decimals. If you, for some reason, don't have to modify the value, 5.5 times 10 to the three plus 9.6 times 10 to the three. Let's see what happens now. When I add this 5.5 and 9.6, I end up with 11, carry one, six, 15, the decimal point, times 10 to the three. But even though this is my answer, 15.1 times 10 to the three, remember that for correct scientific notation, it has to be a number between one and 10, and this is 15. So I run the decimal spot here, 1.51, and then I modify my decimal times 10 to the four. And this would be correct scientific notation. If you are subtracting, it's the exact same process, only instead of adding, you would be subtracting. Exactly the same. You turn your smaller exponent into your bigger exponent, then you do the subtraction with just the, not the coefficients, and then you put the base with the bigger exponent. That's it. Now to finish multiplication and division, again, you will have to use the rules of the radicals that you learned. Five times 10 to the three. If I'm gonna multiply this by 2.5 times 10 to the negative four, what you do is you take the numbers and you multiply the numbers. Five times 2.5 is 7.5. And then you add the exponents. We did this last year. When you multiply variables or bases you add, that are alike, you add the exponents. So three minus four is negative one. You multiply the numbers, you add the exponents. If this were a division, if this were a division, it's the exact same thing. And again, we apply the exact same rules we learned last year. You divide the numbers, five divided by 2.5 is two, and then you subtract the exponent. So I have three minus negative four. This turns into positive four, and you would end up with two times 10 to the negative seven. So this is how to do these operations via math. I will post a video to show you guys, or I'll post a link to a video to show you guys how to do the operations 
in your calculators. Take care.